Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys my curly hair routine. Now, quite a few of you have actually been asking for this video, so it is now time to get in and show you guys how I style my hair, what products I use um, and everything like that. This is my first video doing this as well and I'm telling you, I came out the shower about five minutes ago. My hair is already going like... Not even dry, but it's just going so frizzy already. Let me tell you guys what I use in the shower. Today was wash day. Now, I wash my hair about every week and a half, every two weeks. As if you have curly hair and my kind of hair, you will know that washing it every day just does not work for us. If I was to wash my hair every day, it just would not work for me at all. It would just dry it out and it just it just would not work. So I have to wash my hair about every week and a half, every two weeks. I first go in with the I Am Beau Curl Liberating Sulfate Free Shampoo. Now, I absolutely love this shampoo. It, it is sulfate free, it's got coconut in it, it's vegan and cruelty free, and it is suitable for like all of these curl types as well. So it's literally got a range from wavy, curly, frizzy, tight curls, coils, kinks, like literally covers everything. On wash day as well, I also go in with a curl intensive mask, just purely because when you wash your hair, it can dry it out. So. I like to put that moisture back in my hair. So I go in with the I Am Beau Curl Restoring Intensive Mask. Now you leave this on for like five to 10 minutes um, and then I brush through my hair. I can only brush my hair when it's wet. I cannot brush it dry, it just does not work for me. And it goes really frizzy and just horrible. So I always brush my hair in the shower as well. So once I've left that on for 10 minutes and I've brushed it all out, uh, to make sure I get rid of all the knots. I then go in with the Curl Respecting Conditioner and I leave that on for a few minutes and then I, I wash it out but I don't, I try not to wash all of it out because I want to leave some of the moisture in my hair. I don't want to take all the moisture out of my hair especially when I have just washed it. So we're now on the stage of what I do when I get out of the shower. So the first thing I do which I'm going to do right now, is go in with the Blueberry and Mint Tea Hair Growth and Scalp Treatment. Now this is by Curls. Um, this is an American brand, however, they do have this on Amazon, so that's where I got it. Now, what I do is, I just try to make sure that I get it all over my scalp. Now, I don't separate my hair as such, just because I feel like when I'm touching it, like when I'm overly touching it, then it just gets more frizzy. So I just try to put it where I can. So I'll show you how I do it. Now this literally smells amazing. It literally just smells of blueberry and mint. Like, because it's, it's all, it, well, it's blueberry and mint tea, but it literally smells as it says. Just gonna get the dropper and I'm just gonna make sure that it's all the way on my roots and squeeze in. I do this all over my scalp. So do it down the middle, do it one side, and I've only been using this oil for, I want to say, three weeks, around three weeks, something like that. Um, and I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's more a new product that I've been using or if my my hair is growing slightly because of this. Um, but I do feel like it is, it's working wonders with my hair. It's, it's, my scalp does get quite irritated sometimes and sometimes I get like, just little spots on my scalp, um, so this definitely has been helping. Now, once I have put it all over my hair, this is literally what I do. So I just massage it into my scalp, and I also just run it down into my hair as well slightly. And another thing is, I put my head upside down, so I'm gonna fully put it upside down, and. 
I'm gonna just massage it in a little bit more. Now, what that does is that promotes the blood to go to your head, which then promotes um, hair growth as well. So I do that for about a minute. Okay. So, as you can see, just from doing that, my hair has literally doubled in size. Like, look at the frizz. This is just craziness. So, usually I do my hair when it's at its dampest point, but obviously because I'm doing a video as well, um, it was slightly hard to get straight out of the shower and set everything up and then show you guys. So what I'm going to do is... I've got this little bottle that's filled with water. Now, I got this from Amazon, and I'm just gonna spray it, just to dampen my hair again. Just to make sure that my hair is nice and wet, so I can see the curls coming back. You can see how it's, <laughs> you can kinda see how it's wet. But, still frizzy of course. My side is now nice and wet again. You see it's kind of dropped a little bit more. Now, we've got in with the oil. Now I'm going to go in with the I'm You Curl Inspiring Conditioner Leave-In Spray. So this one, you literally just spray it in. It smells so beautiful. But you literally just spray it in and it's a leave-in co conditioner. So again, that moisture that my curly hair so badly needs at all times so I just spray all that in and I'm just running it through my hair and I'm slightly just at this point as well I am running my fingers through my hair just to get rid of any tangles or knots Next I go in with the Curl Empowering Cream Gel again from I'm Beau. And this is this again. All these products are sulfate free so there is literally nothing bad in them at all for your hair. And they're all vegan and cruelty free as well. And this is what this cream looks like. It's kind of like a gel cream. It's quite wobbly. And this probably gonna need a lot more than this just because my hair is so thick but I get the cream just rub it in my hands and then just take it through my hair again at this point I am still running my fingers through my hair so it's detangling now this cream I know that you can see it in my hair here but it doesn't stay white on my hair Actually, it, it goes in really, really nicely, as you'll see in a minute. Now, at this point, you do want to make sure that your hair is fully detangled because it will give it slightly more length. Now, I have shrinkage, like major shrinkage, but because even when my hair fully dries out, it doesn't shrink to where it normally would, so that's why I think my hair is growing out slightly. Um, but there is also a product that I use that I'll show you in a second, which which I also think is helping more with the shrinkage. So I think it's a combination of maybe my hair growing and that product that I'm using, which I'll show in a second. My hair is quite long when it's like this, when it's wet. It comes down to about here. However, when it dries, it literally just comes up to my shoulder. <laughs> it's crazy. Just getting a little bit more. I've literally just finished that tub. So I'm just getting the rest of it. Now, I did a lot of research and uh, for a while, I would never do anything with my hair. It's only been more recently that I've started to play around with my hair. The majority of the time I would just put it in a bun or if I was like going out or whatever, then I would maybe do my hair. But apart from that, like I never used to really do much with my hair until recently and that's when I've been doing more like research, more experimenting and things like that and from research I have, from research and from trying it myself, running your fingers through your hair is definitely, it helps detangle and it's also, hel it also helps prevent 
uh, breakage mm -hmm. if you are brushing your hair. With me, there's no way that I could brush my hair dry. It would literally just rip my hair out. That's why I do it wet in the shower. Even brushing it, I do still find that there is some hair that comes out. The brush that I've got is specifically for curly hair. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's... I think the brand was like Not Co or something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll find that and I'll link it below. All the products that I am using today, I will link in the description below as well. So make sure that you check that out. This is when I go in with... I, I don't even know how I came across this. It was so random. Was it on a YouTube... Someone's YouTube video or was it on... It was either on someone's YouTube video or Instagram. It was just so random how I came across it. But this, I feel like... I, I didn't believe it at first. I was like, this product is not going to work. Um, I'm going to try it. I'm going to get it and try it. But I don't believe it. It's just not possible for my hair. But this is Aunt Jackie's. That's the brand. Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils Flaxseed Recipes. Now, this is called the Don't Shrink. Don't Shrink. Yes, I said it. Don't Shrink. Which, when I saw, I didn't believe. But this is... um called the Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. I swear, I am not lying. This, I, I did not believe it. I was like, this is not gonna be something that works in my hair. It's not gonna, it's just not. I refuse to believe it. I'm gonna try it, but I refuse to believe it. I tried it and oh my gosh, I was so impressed. This, I feel like there is still shrinkage, but not as quickly as what there usually would be. So when it dries to a certain point, it's still got that length, but then when it dries even further, it does shrink slightly, but it still has length. Usually, any products that I use, for example, these products, if I just use Iron View products on their own, my hair would literally shrink all the way up to like my shoulder, sometimes even further up within like my hair does take forever to dry, so like two, three, four hours, whatever, but it would shrink all the way up. Now, with this, this is literally just the wonder, the wonder gel, the absolute miracle. I'm, I'm literally obsessed and I'm in love with it. This is for natural curls, coils and waves. It is enriched with flaxseed and wheat protein. So, let me just explain a little bit what this this does as well. So flaxseed, rich in omega fatty acids, it promotes hair health from the inside out and it helps to prevent dryness and flaking. Aunt Jackie's moisturising flaxseed recipe, recipe adds nourishment to the hair while giving bounce and stretch to withering curls, twists and coils. She ain't lying. She ain't lying. Literally, it is amazing. Now... Aunt Jackie's does loads of products, but I haven't actually tried any of her other products yet. And because I fell in love with this one so much, I know that I really should try her other products, which I'm going to, but I just haven't got around to buying them. But I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So this is a gel and the smell of this, I don't know how to explain. Like, I don't know how to explain. It smells beautiful. And it is a gel, so what I was concerned about is that my hair might go hard and not look natural. But, yes, parts of it do go a little bit, like, almost like crispy, but when you kind of, like, what's the word? When you, like, rub it out a little bit, then it kind of goes away, it doesn't stay. It's not that kind of product that you put gel in your hair and then your whole hair just crisps up and goes hard and... It just doesn't move it's not like that at all so let's go in now I use about I would say I use about this much and again it is just that like jelly kind of formula and I'll rub it into my hands and again I will just run this through my hair and again I am finger detangling while I do this but yes, I absolutely love this gel. Like, it, it has literally just transformed my hair and it's helped so much. And I really, really, really keep meaning to buy more of her products, which I will definitely be doing. I'll try them out as well and I'll be able to do another video for you guys. Um, so you guys can see how they are as well. But look, just look how much... You guys saw how big and fluffy and frizzy my hair was before. And just look how much that has just like the length that it's given. 
it's just so beautiful. I love it so much. I love this product. Look at the difference between the side I have not touched. Look at that frizz. Look at that craziness. And look at this side. Oh, it's sticking to me a little bit. How the curls are just so defined. It is just the frizz is just completely gone. Nice and detangled. Just, 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 just look at it. Just look at it. Lastly, I then go in with the Curl Energizing Hydration Serum. Again, from I'm Beau. Because this is a hydrating serum, I like to go in, like I do go in all of my hair with this, but mainly I like to go in with my ends because your ends are the driest part of your hair. And even if your hair is growing from the scalp, even if you have a healthy scalp and your hair is growing and your ends are weak, your ends are just going to break, which means whatever's growing, it just breaks off at the end anyway, so you're technically not really getting any growth. So this is, this is what it looks like. It's just like a cream, just like a cream. Now just rub it into my hands like that, and I grab the ends of my hair, and I just do this, just to give it that hydration at the bottom. And then I will also just run my fingers through with the excess as well. And that is it. That is my routine. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the other side and then I'll come back. And then I'll come back in a few hours or so, just so you guys can see what my hair looks like when it's fully dried. Because this is it wet, obviously, just now. So when it's fully dried, then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, so that is my curly hair routine done. Now, it's obviously still soaking wet, as you can see. So, this is how it looks now. My top is literally soaking wet as well. Okay, so this is how it looks now. And this is the length that we've currently got. I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like when it's fully dry. Now, that can take a few hours, like sometimes a whole evening, depending. But it takes a while. So that is my curly hair routine so far. All the products that I use currently. Mm -hmm. My hair is still wet, as you can see. So I will come back and show you guys what my hair looks like when it's fully dry tonight. So I will see you then. Hey guys, so I'm back and my hair is pretty much fully dry. Now, the back is... It's still kind of wet, like, this bit at the back is still kind of wet, but my roots are mainly dry, and I feel like it's 20 past 10 at night, so unless I show you guys what my hair looks like now, it's going to be tomorrow, and then it's not going to look as fresh, so I really want to show you guys now. You'll be able to see that the length of my hair... It's sitting about here, so that's the shrinkage. It's sitting just below my shoulder, whereas before it was kind of further down. It's the same with the, see, I've always had this issue. My, my right side, so the right side, my hair's uneven. So the right side's always been slightly shorter, whereas recently I feel like the right, the, my right side has been getting a bit longer, because usually, it stops like about here usually, like it's so annoying, like my left side's always come down to at least my shoulder and then my le my right side has always sort of like cut out here, cut off here, so I always kind of wear my hair like this because I'm like it looks so stupid if I wear it like this and it's up here, that bit's down here, it looks like I've cut it wrong when I've literally not ever had my hair cut, so yes. This is how my hair is looking. As you can see, all the curls are nice and defined now it's also it still has that volume which i like like it's not completely frizzy and like puffy and like too much out of control but there, there's still that volume there so i really like that but yeah this is my curly hair routine and how my hair looks once it's dried now usually i'm really bad for this i know that well I have one, I have like a silk bonnet and I really 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 should wear it but sometimes I'm just like I can't be bothered wearing it, it just irritates me and it just it just annoys me. So sometimes I just put my hair back in a bobble and then I'll go to sleep. When I take it out it is, it's kind of like, 
You know when you have your hair in your bobble and it like it gets that line where the bobble's been? That's how it is. But I have like a spray that usually I use and it kind of just freshens it up a little bit. And it is this. It's the Mealy Pomegranate and Honey Curl Refreshing Spray. Um, that's it's an anti-frizz spray. So usually like I'll have my wash day. And then the next day, if my curls need freshened up, I'll use this. Sometimes when my hair gets to the point where I know it can't be saved, then I will have another shower. I won't wash my hair on that day though, I'll just condition it. Um, I'll, and then when I get out of the shower, I'll do my scalp treatment with the oil, and then I'll do the exact same routine with the, the leave-in conditioner spray, the curl gel, and the don't shrink gel as well. And it'll just go back to this. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is a different video. Most of my videos have always been about makeup or skincare content, so I really hope you guys do enjoy this video. A few of you have requested for this specific video so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.